Okay, so we came back to the resort, got a little bit cleaned up, rested a little bit, watched some YouTube, and uh, now we're gonna go actually back to Disney Springs. We have a reservation at the Boathouse, I think. It was originally at, I don't know, 9.30, 9.15. And then yesterday we changed it and moved it back to nine just to try to get it a little earlier. And now it's not showing up in my Disney Experience app. So hopefully, hopefully it's there. I, I do have the confirmation email, just says it's there. Uh, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna go to the boathouse. Uh, just says I'm not allowed to get that mile high s'mores baked Alaska. Um, but we're gonna get it. And uh, that's that. All right, let's go to the boathouse. All right, here we are. We're waiting on the bus. <laughs> Hey Jess, yeah. do you know what the wheels on the bus do? They go around and Yeah, they do. <laughs> All right, so we're down in Disney Springs now. It's rained a little bit and cooled things off, which is good. It's a lot different than it was earlier today. Uh, but we've made it to the boathouse and uh, we haven't eaten here before. We've definitely seen a lot of footage, a lot of videos, a lot of reviews, looked at the menu, uh, but never actually made it here. So we're here now, uh, just checked in. Our reservation's in about a half an hour and they have a little shop here. So we're gonna take some time. We'll go into the shop, look around, see if there's anything cool, and then maybe just kind of explore the restaurant a little bit. And then they said they would text me when they're ready. So that's that. And they have a uh, copy of the menu posted outside here. So here's a quick look. I'm not sure what we're gonna go for. We may end up splitting something just because we're still full from all these other giant meals we've been eating. But uh, yeah, they've got some fish features here. Grilled fish tacos, always delicious. Crab cakes, shrimp and grits, some sides to share down here on the bottom, truffle fries, mac and cheese, and uh, sandwiches, and what they call dockside buckets, where you can get coconut, coconut fried shrimp. Wow, I can't talk today. Um, these firecracker shrimp actually looked really good. That's kind of uh, up my alley, so I might get some of those. And then if uh, you want steaks, they've got a filet, they've got a New York strip, so all kinds of options. a look at the menu again we're inside now it's the same thing they have posted outside Jess is pointing up here to the top they post the date so that you know everything they're serving is fresh and sometimes they'll pull stuff off the menu if it's not up to snuff uh, but we are going to get some of these firecracker shrimp we'll see how those are and a jumbo lump crab cake so hopefully everything's good here we are. Firecracker shrimp and coleslaw and jumbo crab cake. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. So I've got the firecracker shrimp here. It's got serrano peppers. I think so. Serrano peppers. And sweet chili. Sweet chili sauce. That 
That's good. Jess has the jumbo lump crab cake with coleslaw, cream, creamy brandied cocktails. Nope. All right, and Jess has the jumbo lump crab cake, coleslaw, and creamy brandied cocktail sauce. So she's gonna try the crab cake right now. Really good. All right. Really nice pieces of crab. Just a little bit of breading to hold everything together. And the sauce is really nice. Alright, tonight we went with the homemade key lime pie in a mason jar. It's got a little cream on top there. And there is a graham cracker crust hidden there on the bottom as well. <laughs> Alright, I'm going in. Oh, it's soft. That's good. That's better than what I had earlier today. <laughs> much creamier, much more tart, much more flavor. This is the feline to get at Disney Springs. Alright, we just finished up at the boathouse. I'm absolutely stuffed. Uh, and that's because I ate the majority of the dessert. So we're going to take Jessica over to the ganachery. She's not really into key lime. She tried it. It wasn't her thing. I thought it was absolutely great, but uh, some live music just kicked in. But yeah, we're going to go over to the ganachery. All right, we're back at the resort now, back yeah. in the room. Thought we would check back in after dinner, talk a little bit about what we had. Um, so we started, well, no, I guess we didn't start. We started, well, okay. So I guess we started with the bread, and I really liked the bread. There was some sort of glaze or something on top. I wasn't sure what it was at first, but I asked, and it was honey. Um, and of course, they served it with some butter as well that you could put on the roll. Uh, the butter was hard, so you couldn't really spread it, but wasn't that bad. That's okay. Um, Jess didn't really like the roll. No, I thought it was bland and I didn't care for it. It was mm. just chewy bread. I thought it was really good. It was a sweet roll, so I thought it was fine. Um, and then we moved on to the food. So what we decided to do was split an appetizer and an entree. Um, we got the uh, spicy firecracker shrimp as the appetizer and the yes. lump crab cake as the entree. Yes. I liked both. I think I probably already said that when trying the crab cake. Um, it was really good. I tend to get those a lot when we go to seafood places because I don't always have an opportunity to get crab cakes. So when I do, that's like my go-to thing and I liked it quite a bit. I would definitely get that again. Mm -hmm. um, the firecracker shrimp, although I don't think that's what it was called. Um, were... I thought that's what it was. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was. Um, they were good. Um, I, I mean, I ate them. I enjoyed them very much. But um, I, I compared them at the time to another restaurant, Bonefish. <laughs> if anybody has one of those, um, which is also very good, and um, I like the flavor a little bit more. It's a little bit more poppy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the ones that, that Bonefish Grill or even I think Chili's has had them. Right? They're a little bit more saucy. Right, these were not I like saucy. Good sauce. <laughs> uh, very, a little bit more crispy, probably more of them. Right. Um, but uh, they there were good. There was a lot. There was a lot. Um, those were more expensive too, so they better be yep. good. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we finished it off with another key lime dessert. So I had one for lunch today, yeah. and it was uh, it was good. It wasn't the best. It was good, and so I thought I would compare it to the key lime offering at Boathouse. So we ordered the key lime pie in a mason jar. Um, and it was it was excellent. It it was definitely better than the key lime dessert at Homecoming. So um, I think I ate ninety five percent of that. Jess maybe had a three bite. three percent of that, and I uh, had a bite. we maybe left a couple morsels at the bottom. But yeah. yeah, that was that was really good as well. So. I'm not the best person to talk to about key lime anyway. I don't really like the flavor of mm. lime. Um, key Sounds lime good. is not something I like. I liked the one at Boat or. Boathouse less than I liked the one at Homecoming, uh, um, but that's so because good. the one at Homecoming had like a really thick marshmallow on it, yeah. and I really like marshmallow, yeah, <laughs> so no, that won that, it for me more over than the one at Boathouse. Yeah, the one at Boathouse was good. It had a, it had a little bit of the white cream on top, some raspberries, and a cinnamon stick served with it as well. And, oh, it was it was good. He was happy. Yeah. So all in all, I think we. Uh, Really enjoyed our experience at the boathouse. I think we'll yes. be back. I'd like yeah. to try the shrimp and grits sometime. So I guess uh, let us know if you've ever been to the boathouse and if so, what your favorite dish is. Okay. Sorry. No. That's it. All right. Thanks, guys. Who are the guys? Sorry.